What's up guys? All right, so here's what we've been up to lately on the boat. We'll run you through all the projects we did in the boatyard and now back in the marina. Got a lot going on. Yes, we do. <laughs> of course, no bottom job is complete without a flame job. So I had to freshen up our, uh, freshen up our flames, this side and that. You can see the blue paint is a little bit different. Uh, we had some uh, chipping, so I had to touch up uh, some of the, the bottom paint, which they say we should have done a whole bottom paint, but ultimately it came down to um, time and money. So we just, we did a little bit of touch up and we got some guff from our uh, appraiser. He said, well, this is gonna be all dried up and only this is gonna be effective, but we'll see. Anyways, we'll, we'll do a full bottom paint and sand this down to get rid of all this because we've got really thick paint. It's been years and years of adding paint, so uh, that'll be on the next big haul out. Lots of sanding. This is our brand new prop. And also, it's actually a 15 inch prop that you can see the tips, uh, they cut off. So that way um, we get more um, blade surface and should get a little more drive. So this is actually a 1510 cut down to a 1310. Okay, so we finally got cockpit cushions. Jack has been wanting these since we bought the boat like four years ago. And so um, Jack is a master craftsman at all of his projects. So we got the mesh on the bottom and our umbrella for both sides. And these we put in one tab. We're gonna figure out a way to snap it. And so that way they can flip up and go back down really easily and we'll probably do some backrest too these are great lumbar support and then when we were in the boat yard jack fiberglassed our whole bottom and of the cockpit it's not and, done and painted yet so don't and don't move do the binnacle forward and so eventually we'll have room for a captain's chair and then this is going to be our new flooring so um, this came from Sailrite also. It's actually nice and soft. And then... The Hard Dodger. So uh, it's all made out of Corsel, uh, which is like a styrofoam material. And then it's wrapped in fiberglass. We've got uh, a rail on the top. So you got handrails, you know, so you can grab onto it. Um, one front window, this is quarter inch poly... Carbonate. Polycarbonate. I always remember because I think of Star Wars and think you've been frozen in polycarbonate. Your eyesight will return. Um, so it's going to be a fixed window in the front. It'll you'll be able to see better when we pull the film off, and then it's see through. Uh, then the side panels we're going to sew in uh, thinner polycarbonate with um, material around the outside, so we can take them off and, and have breeze. If we want to, but it's all done. It's painted. It's uh. It has a couple small flaws that I stare at, but everybody else thinks it's pretty rad. And what, uh, tell us about the um, LED lights. So inside each side um, is a wire chase. So in this thick part, there's a, a chase inside here and there's one on the other side also. So we'd run wires up here. It's gonna pop out the top and then there's gonna be LED strip lighting that runs around uh, the inside. And then the switch is gonna go right here and so we'll be able to click on the switch and have ah, mood lighting. It's gonna be sweet. Here's a view of the Dodger from the outside. So you can see we're gonna put panels, uh, solar panels up on top of it, one on this side of the boom and one on the other. And hi Kim. We moved our engine controls. It used to be down there, you had to reach down to start the boat. And then the control panel was up there which has all been filled in now this is our new beta control panel so tack oil amps volts temperature key Ta -da. and we cleaned out the garage jack can't find anything now no i have no <laughs> idea where anything is check it out this is what the the aft berth is supposed to look like so we got our cushions back in everything's organized uh, the tools are all stowed the closet is right back in here. So that's going to be Kim's 
Kim's closet. She's in charge there. So this is when you climb in. Um, you come down this ladder into this aft cockpit. And then behind the ladder, I built in a closet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our Mantis dive tank compressor. So we use that to fill up our dive tanks. So no more taking them to the shop. We can fill them up ourselves right here on the boat. And now down to the saloon and our main living area. It's never going to look this good ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my home office. And so Jack built this so I can get two towers in there. Eventually this tower will not be here. And then um, I've got my laptop and I can, uh, these can hook to the computers so I can have um, three computers going at the same time. And then this is our TV. And then this is our freezer. It's a dual zone freezer refrigerator. And it's kind of migrating. We don't really know where it's gonna go just yet. And then this is set up for staging and for survey but it's really uncomfortable. So this will go back to being one big sofa. And eventually um, we'll set this up probably here. And this could be where a guest could sleep um, in addition to our sofa. And we'll probably put a lee cloth here also. And so that way it will be a good napping spot for passages in the future. Now let's see what Jack has to show off with his master craftsmanship in the engine compartment. And here we go. So here we go into the engine room. So what we have done is installed a 600 amp Battleborn lithium battery bank. We got our smart shunt, which is Bluetooth. That tells us, uh, battery information like uh, capacity and charge rate and what's going in, what's going out. We've got our battery isolation manager. We've got our, oh, what is that, a 300 amp or 100 amp? It's a, that's our fuse. Uh, we've got a 3000 watt uh, Victron MultiPlus inverter. So we have power, um, regular 110 running off our batteries when we're not on shore power. We have Victron um, Smart Solar MPPC Solar Charger. We've got our Solar Disconnect switch. Uh, we built in um, shelves so that we can store all the tools. I cut, crimped, no, cut, stripped, crimped, and heat shrinked all of these cables, which was awesome. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? We moved the engine battery over here. And this is all tools, so this is just another uh, box to keep all the tools in. And it is uh, screwed down, so it's secured. And here is the piece de resistance, Beta 30. So three-cylinder, 30-horse, Beta engine, brand-new diesel, uh, runs like a top. So we're pretty stoked on that. Put in the uh, new engine mounts, had to build all this. Uh, redid the bilge, not done painting yet, but uh, getting there. This is rock wool uh, insulation. Uh, that's the back of the cabinet that you saw from the aft. We got rock wool up on the ceiling to uh, insulate the sound from the cockpit. And some rock wool in the back of our fridge compartment to keep the sound out of the saloon. And then we put in a 50 gallon diesel tank brand new polypropylene molar tank. And then while we were at it, a brand new six gallon hot water heater. So she's coming along, looking pretty. So we got a lot done. Uh, we got a lot of projects to go and lots of work still to do, but living on board is pretty sweet. And we have to enjoy the journey in each moment as it comes. Yes. We're enjoying ourselves right now. I love you. I love you too. <laughs>